this from earlier on. The Nuggets getting off the team bus and showing their fashion sense. Gotta make a grand entrance when you're on the road. Welcome everyone, it's time for NBA action. Coming to you live on this Saturday night. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline report. Hey Dave. Kevin, thanks. Well, among the league's deadlier weapons now is the step back jumper. Steph Curry said, you're always in control of the situation with that move. It is pretty effective. Portland's Damian Lillard said, it's a tough off balance shot, so it takes a lot of work but people around the league are putting in that work to become even more effective. Guys? Thanks, David. And checking out some numbers for Jamal Murray. And guys, this effective field goal percentage is trending in the wrong direction over the past five games. Shot discipline hasn't been the best. He'll be looking to play a smarter game tonight. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. Murray and Harris, the guard set. In at the forward, it'll be Porter Jr. and Milsen. And it's Hartenstein in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Philadelphia, Harris and Embiid hold down the post for him. Matisse Thibel's out there with Simmons. And it's Green in at the three spot. And the NBA, Chris, with a long regular season, we know that. Are there things that can make the go. season seem even... Longer, or, or shorter, or or in between for that matter. Hey, yeah, Kevin, well, I tell you what the cliche, time flies when you're having fun. We all know that's true, so when you're losing or not seeing eye to eye, that's when the season will really drag on. Now here's Simmons, one of the dependable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. Embiid with it, unguarded by Murray. Just three to shoot. Simmons can't get it to go the Nuggets ball. Last time they met was in Denver. Yeah, and, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly outweighed. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. It's his first trip to the line. And he has grooved his stroke at the line this season and been able to maintain it with an average of 90%. He makes the first and there have been some to compare Porter to Kevin Durant and really a fluid shooter who also possesses amazing athleticism and Porter drops them both Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants to go. Outside, Simmons. And it's Thibault in the corner. 76ers moving the ball around. And B kicks to Harris. And B with the screen on Harris. Here's the drive. Thibault can't get it to go. And it's Harris with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. Coming off that loss against the Nets. I mean, they went into that one with the thought that they may have a chance. Uh, no. No matter what their money so was, that was going to be a very tough task. Let's face it, they don't have the horses to compete with those guys. Bible can't get it to go. Man, you don't see this fella blow many lives. Not against D like that anymore. Here's Murray, hoping to put that miserable performance against Brooklyn behind him tonight. And so just over a minute and a half play. The 76ers again can't hit it. Denver's gone 0-2 from the here. Harris kicks to Murray. Three-pointer. Knocks down the three ball. And if you don't get out on Murray, he will light you up from beyond. He's lethal. And after establishing himself as a key player in Denver, Gary Harris has played, trailing off the last couple seasons. Uh, Greg, what's your read there? I, I really feel like Kevin Henry's have played a part, uh, an extended poster, but the Nuggets did lose faith. He can help build their success over the years, and they consider him a key piece moving forward as well. Here's Murray. Philadelphia able to drain the free. And 
Just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. He's forcing things a little bit in this court. Seven, eight shots. He'd be better off passing it. Simmons passes to Green. And Bede with it. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And it's a tie ball game. That's the savvy veteran. He's able to spot when his teammates aren't being covered. That's a nice read. Outside Porter, Mr. Hartenstein. And there's the second time to finish it off. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. 76ers have gone 2 of 6 from the field. Pass to Harris. Embiid with it. And the call will be against Harris. That's his first foul. Here's Harris. This came out, he had 14. Embiid with the screen on Murray. There's the pass to Embiid. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Embiid. Not a great play on either end. Bad delivery and way too late to react on the catch. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Murray outside. Passes to Porter. Goes half a screen on Green. Here's Porter. Outside Millsap. Five to shoot. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. From deep three-point range. It's hauled in by the 76ers. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. Yeah, and, and that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. They played with energy. They communicated well. They made things difficult. Now here's MB. Coming off a stellar performance against Toronto. And the call will be against Harris. That'll be his second foul of the game. And two fouls and we're not even out of the first quarter. That's not a good pace to set. And the Nuggets making a change here. Horace has checked in. Simmons on the wing. Covered by Morris. They grab their own miss. And B. He can't hit that top. And it's Millsap with the ball for the Nuggets. Here's Morris. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Nets in Brooklyn. From the arc. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. And here now is Thibel. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. Greg, you showed toughness in grit when you played. You've got to succeed in this league with those things at the forefront, right? Being tough, being gritty. And there are several players uh, whose style you admire that play like it. I mean, no doubt about it. it Take you have the Take superstars, the, the Kawhis, the LeBrons, who continue to do it. They, they can intimidate you physically, uh, but they also provide tremendous skill set. Uh, but two other guys, Russell Westbrook, Jimmy Butler, they're, they're also oh, guys yes. that exemplify that toughness. Uh, you know, two guys, when you look at those two, a lot of people didn't project them to be what they've become. And it's impressive to watch them take the floor night in and night out. B drops them both. But his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through the post. Morris finds Murray. And another miss by Denver. Well, he has to work hard. He's taking some bad shots. And B wishes to green. From outside the arc. You can't get that one. And the Nuggets going the other way. Porter passes to move. The top and the bow, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. 
That one on MB. How about the strength of Murray finishing the shot off easily, even with the haunt? And he's got his first chance at the line here. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And if you're drawing up your starting five for team irrational confidence, Jamal Murray makes a strong case. This guy is fearless. Now here is Harris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. With a break in the action, let's take a peek at the top rebounding teams in the NBA this season. The 76ers, number one. They are tenacious when it comes to attacking the backboard. Physical, smart, and determined. No surprise to see them at the top of the ranking. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh, good on that one. And Murray, we know, can be streaky, Greg. Still mid-30% for his career from three-point range. Of course, the degree of difficulty, pretty high on a lot of his shots. Off the bounce with the hand in his face. And he's more than a shooter, a, a versatile scorer who can get it done in a variety of ways. Curry's checked in for Matisse Thibault. Good on the second free throw. Uh, it's all about the fun-loving personality of the league. It is just awesome. I mean, this guy likes to have fun on and off the court. Morris dishes the Porter. Outside Millsap. Murray outside. Drives to the hoop. And it goes down two points. Murray's got eight. And the confidence from Murray. Just so efficient from the interior. Pass to Harris. Inside. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist from Tobias Harris. He has seven. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punch. Porter against Green. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. A chance to take a look at some stats for Murray. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. Right around 21 points per, six assists, and three rebounds. And the phrase, stats don't lie, absolutely applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. Uh, he's oozing with confidence. I mean, and it shows. Every time he steps on the floor, he expects to dominate. He throw good. Order. Shake Milton, he's checked in for the 76ers. And a switcher also for Denver. Bowles checked in. And Porter drops them both. Simmons with it. And he also played really well on that win against the Raptors. And Simmons sends it in. Physicality of Simmons on display. Showing some fight and fearlessness in plays like this. Morris passes to Green. Murray outside. The feed now to Bull. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And Beach got eight rebounds in this game. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Defends the shot and grabs the rebound. About as big an impact as you can have on a possession. Here's Porter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. All right, a moment to check out stats for MB. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. First in rebounding, fifth in blocks, 
and he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And just going back real quick to the fact that he's tops in the league in rebounds, what a tremendous feat. What a monster he is in the paint. First one falls for him. Howard's checked in for Philadelphia. Maxey comes in for Simmons. Hampton's checked in for the Nuggets. Second free throw, no good. The 76ers trail by three. Curry on the wing. Fires the three. Denver grabs the miss. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Morris kicks to Green. Outside quarter. Six to shoot. Unloads. Misses off the right eye. And George Harris will bring it up with the Philadelphia 76ers. Outside Curry. Back to Harris. Over Hampton. Another miss by Philadelphia. The Nuggets leading by three. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. You look at the Nuggets. They reside in the seventh slot right now in the early part of the season. Well, I think for Denver, they've shown me some very good things this season. But that next step, those qualities that could make them true contenders, just haven't been there. Yeah, and I'm sure they're disappointed. In that. I mean, they were hoping to take that next step. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Will Barton, he's checked in for Denver. Denver shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Morris outside, and the wide open shot from Green. The three-pointer no good. The 76ers trail by three. Now, here's Maxi. He's been patient so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. Philadelphia moving the ball. Over. And the basket by Kirk. They don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not what you want to leave open. Now, here is Morris. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Morris. Philadelphia's got just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. On the wing, Harris. Curry looking around. Back to Harris. Howard with a screen on green. And there's the goal on Tobias Harris. That's his first foul. is called first of the game for the Nuggets. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selections. Well, it's some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points.
taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Paul Millsap. And looking at his offensive numbers in the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Green dishes to Hampton. Back to Green. Kicks to Morris. Going inside. Can't hit from in close. And he struggles with his finishes sometimes. I mean, it's kept him from being an elite player. On the wing, Harris. Here's Howard. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Al Morris. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Philadelphia's gotten just 2 of 6 to fall from 3 point range so far in the first. Here's Harris. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. And the 76ers lead by two. And Dwight Howard, you know, not the same 35 minute a game player he once was, but I tell you what, when he's on the floor, he can still be every bit as effective. Yeah, Howard can pull the teams to go small against them. He provides a big body to deal with other strong centers. But he also gives the team some great flexibility with how they match up. in the first quarter of the game. Now, here's Maxi, covered by Morris. If you can't hit that one, the teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Driving inside. Off the mark, and the drop continues. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. Here's Howard. Outside for Curry. Howard trying to free himself up. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Howard. Curry's got six. Improving uh, his floor awareness. How does a decent assist for what he's got home? Pass to Green. Morris outside. Feeds it to Bull. Shot clock at five. Takes a three. Milton grabs the board. And they've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Here's Harris. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, man. The defenders have to be more cautious when guarding Harris. He's constantly looking to draw contact on his shots. 76ers have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Shooting two. That's good from Harris. I mean, look, every year Harris looks more confident. He goes through stretches where he can dominate. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Martin passes to Morris. To stop the run. That shot off the mark. And so it's Philadelphia with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we'll be back with you shortly. We recently checked in with Jamal Murray, who discussed the team's approach to each game. Mentality of how we play, how we move the ball. Um, how unselfish we are, you know, next pass mentality, uh, next spin up mentality, um, and just keep each other uh, know, alive. You know, we got to, you know, like I said, bring that energy, bring that, bring that uh, enthusiasm that we always have. Greg sounds like something a coach would say. <laughs> it's probably something his coach has said time and time again. But Murray's really matured into a reliable, sometimes spectacular performer for this team. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. 
And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the 76 ers The three pointer has been a major weapon for them in the early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So on the floor for Philadelphia. They've got Korkmaz, Joel Embiid out there with help. Then it's Simmons, and it's Green in at the small forward. Good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Korkmaz, no good. The Nuggets trail by six. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Harris outside. And he drives in, and slam dunk by Harris. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over defensively. That's just poor communication. There's Embiid. Denver grabs the miss. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. Here's Murray. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg. Do you think that's worked out as intended? You don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get the one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and the fans. You don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No, absolutely not. First free throw is good. And Murray has it all. A deadly shooter and a remarkable penetrator. Terrific guard play. And so Murray nails both of them. The 76ers lead. And Simmons gets to Embiid. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And now that we have a chance, let's show you the NBA's top thieves. This is the list of this month's steals. Fifth on the list, Ben Simmons. Really been fantastic defensively this run for him. He's had more than his share of steals. And now he's looking to get more. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for MB. So he gets them both. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Harris passes to Murray. How good on the three. Well, I mean, I think he better come up with some different ways to get his points tonight. There's the three, not one of them. Ain't work. Now, here's Howard. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Paul Millsap picks one up. Oh, proving he can be crafty. Howard takes pride in fooling defenders and getting them to jump. For Philadelphia, they have gone 6 of 8 from the free throw line tonight. And 75% and on the season as a unit from the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. That one is no good. Always an adventure from the line. One of the few blemishes on Howard's career. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. 
Outside for Murray. The Nuggets with another miss. Philadelphia leading by five. Simmons passes to Embiid. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Back to Simmons. Shot clock at six. And there's the pass to Korkmaz. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Korkmaz has got the lead up to eight now for the 76ers. Here's Murray. 12 points for him. And the floater. Millsap has the open look. Buries it from three-point range. Millsap's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. 76ers have gone two or four shoot the ball here in the second. Simmons passes to Green. Here's MB. Three-pointer. Another three for Philadelphia. And that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. Murray, the pass to Hartenstein. And stolen by Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. The confidence of Simmons. A quick thinker who isn't afraid to go after steals and start the break. Everyone wants Simmons to add a consistent outside jump shot. Well, that's a work in progress. He's just trying to get rid of it. Better be a depth finish for the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Passes it to Embiid. Back to Simmons. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. And see, Webb, as you said with Simmons, when he's going at the rim, he's as good as it gets. Oh, yes. Yeah, a great blend of size, speed, and strength. He controls his body to create space. He lay it up from unorthodox angles. Please. Uh, to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Yeah, yeah, it, it gives you something you really can rely on going into every game. And, and you can also work off of him to look to create for others. Now here's Murray. He's got 12. They get a hand on it. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Here's Murray. Right now, he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Now, here's Green. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. And there's how That's good on the assist by Green. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball movement. Simmons against Murray. Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 17-7 run. Bob 
opened up there for Embiid. Throws down the alley, slams. That gives him the double double. 11 points and 11 rebounds. The chemistry Embiid has with his guys. He seems to know exactly when to go for these alley oops. Howard against Millsap. Murray outside. Again, we missed by Murray. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. No, doing anything they can to stop the bleeding, but so far they've had no answer. Now here's Simmons. He's got eight. Howard setting the pick for Simmons. Ball's not loose. Down to five on the shot clock. That shot off. The Nuggets trail by 16. Here's Murray. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seated. Simmons passes to Green. And the 76ers get it back. And Embiid gets it to go. After that ragged first quarter, they're hitting some momentum, some confidence. Nice one. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Denver calls timeout. Greg, one of your former teammates, John Starks, would get under a guy's skin on the court. He's like a nuisance, but really opposite off the court, away from the game. I tell you, Kev, John's got a heart of gold. Anybody that knows him is going to be a fan of the person. John is as good a friend as I can ever recall having. Subbed in for Green. Denver also making some changes. Green is checked in for Millsap. Barton comes in for Michael Porter. And Morris subbed in for Gary Harris. Here's Morris. No points in the game yet for him. Murray outside. Turnaround jumper. Count it. And let's be honest, Murray has never seen a shot he didn't like, especially these mid-range jumpers. Now here's Simmons. He's got eight. Has to Embiid. Fades back. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Are oh, you expecting to make those? They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. Murray surveying the D. Even when the D is playing off of a mid-range jumper, shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. Here's Milton. A shot that time, not on target. And Morris has got the ball here for the Nuggets. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. The NBA continues to build international academies to develop prospects from other countries. Already, academy graduates are playing Division I college basketball. Before long, NBA players should start emerging from that pipeline. He continues to reach out to find overlooked youngsters who have a gift and give them the opportunity. Guys? Outstanding, David. Thank you. Now, here is Morris. After Ben Simmons' miss. Morris, no good. Hate to say it. He's dragging him down. Not a single bucket. Simmons dishes to Harris. 
And another shot. And Embiid lays it in. Embiid's got 15. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Murray against Simmons. Hartenstein passes to Barton. The Nuggets with another miss. Philadelphia leading by 18. Pass to Harris. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Hartenstein's got four rebounds now tonight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Morris against Curry. Morris, left side. Just five to shoot. Three pointer. And Simmons with the rebound. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Great deep. Simmons, the passing skills of a point. At 6'10, he can see the whole court. The Nuggets trail by 20. Murray outside. And Embiid with the block. Harris inside. And by Green. That's good from Harris on the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his fourth assist in this one. Morris looking over the floor. The pass to Hartenstein. This is his first trip to the line tonight. First one drops. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in line so far here in the second quarter. Matisse Theibel checked in for the 76ers. Maxi comes in for Simmons. So he picks up just one from the line that time. The 76ers leading by 21. 149 left in the first half. Eibel on the wing. Martin defending. Let's the free fly. That shot missing. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. And here is Hampton. 11 points for him in that last game against Brookford. 122 left now here in the second. They kick it out to Green. And B with the steal. Now, here's Maxi. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Hampton. And the dunk by Hampton. Well, that's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> that's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact dunk. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. Impressive sequence that had them fired up. Now, here is Harris. Embiid inside. Count it good. Embiid's got 17 now. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. But he had better start buckling there. Martin drives in. The Nuggets have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Good from Green. And the 76ers making a change here. Fort Myers is checked in. And Denver also making a switch. Bowl. He's checked in for Hartenstein. Or 
Harris with the ball. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Five on the clock. Takes it off the glass. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen. Defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Here's Max. On the way, Harris. Passes it to Embiid. Back to Harris. Back to Embiid. Three with the ball. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Big time effort for Joel Embiid, providing a lot of energy for Philadelphia. His performance that quarter has earned him a double-double. Seems like he's been everywhere in this game. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Joel, you've got the lead, so how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just to keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and making plays. Hey, they always build off of their defense here. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Joel Embiid having an outstanding game. He ended up with 17 points, three assists, and one steal. So far, he's played a big role for his team here. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? The reason they're out front, Ernie, Joel Embiid. His assertiveness on offense is so effective. Breaking through the defense and getting to his spots. They just can't stop him. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Sloppy ball, way too many wasted possessions, chucking up threes, missing them. I could hit more threes than that, Ernie. I hope they're talking right now about getting the ball inside, because that's what it's going to take. If there would be more threes, that would be a different story. But if if was a fifth, Ernie, you know the rest. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Joel and Embiid has been sensational. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, it could be one of those epic games, but we still have a long way to go. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. So out there for the Nuggets right now. Harris on the wing alongside Porter. Paul Millsap out there with Hartenstein, and it's Murray in at the point. And Simmons kicks to Embiid. There's the dish to Green. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Embiid inside. Rebound by the Nuggets. Hartenstein's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Murray the pass to Hartenstein. And contact down the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots in the game right here. An 85% mark from the line. There aren't too many players in the league who are going to sport a much better percentage. Shooting two. The first one falls. That one 
falls, so he hits both of them. Al Simmons, eight points for him. Harris outside. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. And good that time. Embiid's got 19 points. Once again, how dominant he is. Once Embiid gets rolling, it's like an avalanche. And it's Murray penetrating. And it's blocked. They recover it. Porter, no luck. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. 22 is their biggest lead. It's to Thibault. With the second effort, and Embiid finishes inside. Embiid's got four this quarter. Stellar work on the offensive back. Embiid, I mean, his reach helps him track down many second chance options. And Michael Porter is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Pass to Harris. He takes it in. Basket counts. Harris has got his third basket of the night right there. They are just killing him on the interior. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Hartenstein passes to Murray. The kick out to Porter. Beyond the arc. And Simmons with the rebound. Simmons got six rebounds here tonight. To the inside. And the dunk by MB. Well-rounded effort, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output. They're putting in the work at the defense end as well. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. In the corner, Murray with it. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Murray's got 17. Gotta love whenever Murray goes straight up with the jump shot off the pass. He's so good at leading the defense. And the foul called on Paul Nelson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Harris dishes to Simmons. Pocket six. For three, Harris. Good as Green picking up the assist. Green's got two assists in the game. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. their free throws. They're so tough down this stretch. Let's check out the best. The Nuggets number one. You can't be careless when you play them. I mean, no wasted opportunities at the line. It's a team effort and they're getting it done. 
Murray, the pass to Millsap. Harris looking it over. Porter against Green. Wide open look here for Murray. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. No good from Simmons. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have to flip half a bottle late. Now here's Murray. He's got 17. Right side, Millsap. And he drops it in from the low post. Millsap's got his second bucket of the night. And, and with long arms and, and great strength, Millsap can make plays bigger than his actual size. And being fine screen, Philadelphia moving the ball over. Now here's MB. Defense is right there. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Denver's gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Murray, the pass to Hartenstein. Dishes it to Porter. Oh, good on the triple. Philadelphia leading by 22. Simmons left side. And the pass to Embiid. Shoots from eight. Got a piece of it. Curry against Murray. Here's Porter. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Porter's got seven points in the game. Just using his size well close to the rim. Porter is outstanding at cashing in from those spots. Simmons passes to Harris. Back to Simmons. Passes it to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Here's Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Yeah, he continues to improve as a passer. The sky's the limit for Embiid and his arm. Harris passes to Hartenstein. Good D by Embiid. Philadelphia's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Harris outside. And stolen by Harris. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Porter's got four this quarter. And shots like this are why people are just so high on Porter. Has such a quick release on that jump. Got a piece of it. Millsap with the steal. Here's Murray. And it's blocked by Simmons. And he gets it back. Millsap misses. The 76ers leading by 20. Outside curve. Pass to Harris. Outside curve. Six on the shot clock. That's a floater go. And the layup is up and in. Eight points for him. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Murray, the pass to Hartenstein. He kicks it to Porter. To the right side. Pass to Hartenstein. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And at six foot ten, Porter is a threat to score inside, which is why the defense is trying to rough him up a bit. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the 76ers. All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of Shoot space two. out there. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. He misses the free throw. And the 76ers with some changes. Howard comes in for Harris. And Maxey subbed in for Danny Green. Big group substitution here for Denver. Green, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Harton comes in for Paul Milson. Hampton's checked in for Harris. And Morris subbed in for Jamal Murray. And he's good on the second. And here is Simmons. Ten points for him. 
Outside curve. I'm deep. And it's Denver with the rebound. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Porter kicks to Barton. Oh, Porter in position. And stolen by Simmons. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And Howard with the stop. Oh, this is the chemistry Howard has with this guy. He's fantastic at realizing when to go for alley -oop. Morris passes to Porter. He dishes it to Barton. Green with a screen for Barton. Outside, Green. Four on the shot clock. And here's Morris for three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And Beach got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Simmons inside. Brought it by Porter. A nice shot by Simmons. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Porter finds Barton. Back to Porter. And stolen by Simmons. Here's Maxi. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. The 76ers have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. And Philadelphia making a change here. Korkmaz is checked in. Bowl, he's checked in for the Nuggets. One shot. One shot. Free throw good, Maxi. Greg, it's pretty typical for players of the past to talk about current players and say, they may have struggled had they played when I played. What do you think of that line of thinking? You know, I, I, I just don't agree with that. And, and, and I think we all do that. We all feel like our era was the best. I had the same thoughts being passed my way when I first came into the league. I'm and sure. The reality is, these guys work just as hard as guys work back in our era. They just have more understanding of what their value is. And in a lot of ways, they've got more courage to speak out because, you know, let's face it, they're more of a bullseye on their back in today's era with social media than we've ever seen before. That is true. Morris with the bucket. Philadelphia's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Now, here's Maxi, the pass to MB. Good on the shot. Embiid's got eight points in the quarter. He's utilizing all that look to perfection. But Embiid, even when you contest him inside, he, he's still the finisher. Morris kicks the ball. And it's off from three-point range. 76ers shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Here's Maxson. Pass to Howard. Over to the wing. Here's Korkmaz with nobody on him. He buries the jumper. Korkmaz has got five. Nugget shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. Green finds Morris. Now, here's Bull. Guarded by Embiid. Cloak loose. Simmons feeling it out a bit. Good, nice job down low. 14 points for him. And they're scoring much more efficiently here in the second half, and they've gotten that field goal percentage above 50. Morris passes to Green. Hands it from downtown. Well, it was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space outside the three-point line. Pass to Howard. 76ers moving the ball around. He passes to Simmons. Martin with the rebound. Popped up there for Howard. That shot, no good. But I can shoot him just 28%. They are offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. Morris shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Maxi. 
I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. This is his first free throw of the game. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about two. over 90%? And the first one at the line is good. Matisse Thibault checked in for Ben Simmons. And Morris drops them both. 52 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Howard. Now Embiid, guarded by Green. The pass to Maxi. Here's the three. But they recover it. Howard kicks to Kirkmont. Embiid against Green. Just five on the clock. Passes it to Maxi. Howard trying to free himself. And that one's good, Maxi. Maxi's got six points in the quarter. It's big for them that he's hitting the three. I mean, he makes the D work a lot harder. Morris with the ball. Takes the three. The length of the D really bothers shooters. I love how he uses it on the defensive end. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Philadelphia ahead, delivering the blowout. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play right there. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. Matisse Thibault's out there with Maxi. Then there's Howard. And it's Poirier in at the fourth spot. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And that one's good, Maxi. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Here's Najee. It's deflected, but he stays with it. Goes back up. Hampton misses. And the 76ers with possession. Popped up there for Howard. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers have a return possession here. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. We're just trying to prevent the opposition from getting comfortable. Next time, that one might get picked. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, we know the TV networks have brought more revenue, Greg, to the NBA. The expectation is for another bump when they renegotiate in 2023. You know, at the same time, though, Kevin, with all the cord cutters out there, the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans. I expect that to be a big part of this next deal. Right, on your tablet smartphone or your computer mm -hmm. that free throw missing No good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. 
He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. Hull with it, working on Howard. After Naji, the jump hook. Not gonna go that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. And here's Maxi. Another shot. Here's Howard. And finally they hit one. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Nuggets have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Chris, today's coaches have a different way to get through to their players compared to some coaches of the past. Well, yeah, I, I think you know, this culture is different. Uh, guys don't want to be all that uh, when they're giving their all. They want to try to find uh, a solution instead of getting emotional about it. So I think yeah, the emotional aspect at some point has been alleviated. And I think guys want to enjoy going to work every day and having a boss that they can discuss and figure out. Uh, I don't think the NBA is, is any good. And now, a chance to see what's coming up for the Nuggets. On Monday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the Portland Trailblazers. Then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. And he can't get the first one. As 76ers making a switch here, Milton's checked in. No good on the second free throw. But I get shooting about 26% out there. They need to get a better look. Najee passes to Hampton. With the drive. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. 76ers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Milton. Buries the long-range jumper. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. We see this all too often. You have to be willing to put it. Now, here's Hampton. Pass to Chancho. Here's Najee. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Driving to the basket. Yes, that goes in. Now, here's Maxi. Chris, we know the business of basketball is red hot. Franchise values are skyrocketing. And not only that, Chris, the NBA is America's most popular sport among those 34 and younger. Well, yeah, I mean, it's cool. I mean, that, that goes well for the future, right? It wouldn't surprise me in the next decade or so if the NBA became the premier sport in the U.S. And it's the Nuggets with the ball, following the basket by Dwight Howard. Ampazzo uses the glass to finish the layup. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Now, here's Milton. He's guarded closer. Bounce contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Bradley's checked in for Philadelphia. shooting just 28%. They're offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. 
Apazo, guarded by Bradley. Offensive rebound. And Bowl wide open. He shoots a three-pointer off the mark. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him. He knows it. The best thing they can do is try to get him for it easy. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. But they're playing well as a unit. Taking shots they know they can make and building this lead. Now, here's Hampton. Naji passes to Chancho. Now the pass to Naji. Pocket six. Kicks it to Hampton. Tries a three. No good on that one. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Maxi passes to Borean. Now Thibel. talk Greg, about in-season tournaments in the NBA to spur fan interest the proposal was tabled for a bit um, what are your thoughts on that you know cash prizes for the players and coaching staffs so that always seems like a good idea I just wonder Kevin if they're gonna be the cash prizes for the broadcast I hope now so. I think they're on to something we could get that and, you know and, but in all seriousness we, we see that in soccer right and it seems to work well and, and I think if the if it can spur some more interest from fans, then I'd be all for it. Yeah, the fans love it watching some. Here's Max. The Nuggets getting the bucket. Bradley passes to Poirier. Now, here's Maxi From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by the Nuggets. Haji's got four rebounds now tonight. Passes it to Chancho. Pass to Hampton. There's the three. No good. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 17-6 run. Maxi passes to Brent. Pass to Thibault. On the wing, Milton. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Maxi, no good. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held them back as a team. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. The pass to Hampton. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. If his performance this quarter is any indication, I don't think he's the one who's going to let them out of the hole. It's Bradley on the wing. Passes to Maxi. Corner shot. And he overshot that one, missing. Denver's on ice cold from three-point land, all four since the start of the final quarter. A lot of big decisions have fallen on Adam Silver's shoulders, the commissioner of the NBA. And Greg, I think you and I agree by all accounts he has succeeded with flying color. I mean, wouldn't you agree? No doubt about it. I mean, I don't know that you could have had a better person for the times. Adam Silver is to be commended, but I think also appreciated, not just from the players and the owners, but I think our fans should also appreciate who he is as a person. I, I, I've often said that commissioners typically uh, work for the owners. He's the one commissioner, no matter the sport, that I've always felt like was a partner of the players as well. A nice shot by Poirier. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Yeah, and it's inexcusable. They're all too common. Basketball, one-on-one. -on -one. The shot goes up for the body or someone. And Denver has possession. 76ers getting the bucket. Campazzo. Milton grabs the board. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 19-6 run. Pass to Maxi. Bradley trying to break free. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxi. And that'll be his third foul so far. So it's both teams making substitutions here.
Denver shooting a ghastly 26% from the field. Their offensive game looking completely out of whack. Pass to Chancho from deep. And the three ball is good. Chen Charge got his first three points of the game. He'll do some damage if they give him that shot. Don't give him a clean look. Get out there on him. And the pass to Korkmaz. And when rookies come in, there's a lot to learn, especially managing money. And Chris, the league is trying to help players manage those large salaries. Well, players have great resources now that are available to them. And so it's great that the league uh, has lended a hand and said, hey, if you need any help, uh, don't be afraid to reach out. Naji, no good. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Passes it to Korkmaz. Bradley and a good offensive board and he gets the bucket the tenacity on the interior just battling bringing that effort and will for second chance points outside green good ball booming here by the Nuggets it's tipped a minute 42 left in the fourth quarter Milton the pass to Poirier it's Korkmaz in the corner. Back to Milton. Pass to Poirier. From deep. A shot by Milton. No good. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Philadelphia. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so this is going to end up as victory number 24 on the year. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-game. And watched them all night long. No one could really stop them. Just another excellent game it was for Joel and B. Well, you show what it takes to be a great rebound tonight. Fighting for position, boxing out, never getting outworked down low. Now, here's Hampton. Poirier grabs the miss. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Awful display from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. Here's Feibel. Pass to Poirier. Out to the wing. Pulls up. Here's Bradley. Lays it up off the glass. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now. Looking to put this one away. A shake. Here's Hampton. It's hauled in by the 76ers. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but we have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And a Jets now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Danny, a strong defensive effort, both individually and team. Now, how comfortable are you at that end of the floor now, knowing that you can make things tough on the opposition? Well, um, we want to make them take tough shots. Um, we're not comfortable at any point defensively, but we got to continue to be active and be aggressive and get our hands on loose balls. Been the mark of the Spurs for a long time, Danny. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.